Hello, good afternoon. I'm very happy, Giza, for the invitation that you issued and was very, very happy to come here. I will talk from the perspective of really big picture. That's the kind of organizations I have been working for and am still working for. And these big pictures show us graphs like this. And this big picture means that we have to rethink our operating system of Spaceship Earth, as Buckminster Fuller would have called it and said it. And I would like for us to go into our human capabilities of being a species that can imagine futures and that can change the stories by which we're guiding the futures and can change that operating system. And we think on a societal level that operating system is economics. And when you look at these graphs, you can see that the design principle of economics is very similar to the design principle of what we've seen in the Anthropocene and with the problems that it's brought to us. This is why I call it the repair mode sustainability, because the idea was we grow the economy bigger and bigger, and then we have the money to repair our ecosystems and to pay a little bit to the people that haven't benefited in the first round of production and distribution. It also means that we have started to looking at things that should be tools. So if we start about economics, think about economics as social technologies, growth, profits, productivity, innovation, output, competitiveness, all of those are measured in monetary terms right now, and we pursue those as if they were goals in themselves. Unfortunately, those are blind to the things that sustainability has as its core. That's human needs, and that is the regenerative force of that spaceship Earth that we have inherited and are happy to be part of. And this is why I think it's fascinating to see when you do the same Google image search that I've done for that iconography, to look at how is the future of sustainable economies imagined. And it becomes very round. Which shouldn't be too surprising when we think about planet Earth and the image that we first had in 1968 from space being that planet Earth dispensed in the big universe. And then the Brundtland report of 87 says, this has to upset our human self-image. And this is why the invitation is when we start thinking about how do we make these things scale? I mean, that's the question that political economists are after. All the great solutions we saw today, how do we make them scale so that we get out of repair mode and make the operating system sustainable by design? And this is why things like the Sustainable Development Goals are really important. Those are very widened goal sets that we start talking about goals that we want to achieve with the things that we do. And since it sometimes seems daunting to do that on a global space and scale, especially right now with the geopolitics that we've been targeting or seeing before, it is the city's level that is so promising and the city-rural connection. There we can start talking about what are our goals, how we can we use new technologies. We saw just now the way of tagging the resource flows, really expressing what are our values, what are our needs, what are our, our joint endeavors as social beings as well that we strive to achieve, and how do we find then the innovations in the economic system that can make those happen. I'd like to conclude with just the invitation, because we so often hear it's costs, it's intensely um, non-financial, <laughs> non it's difficult to find the finances right now. But for me, it was striking, A, to see how much money we've been able to print to save the banks, and how weird it is to stand at the United Nations discussing the Sustainable Development Goals and seeing all the lack of funding that there is to achieve those that would really be proper value creation for the people. And on the same day, the banks declaring that they've got the exact amount of corporate profits in one bank in one quarter that it would need to finance achieving Sustainable Development Goal 4 of educating people to become the stewards of bringing about that sustainable world that we all want. There's not a shortage in money, there's a shortage of making the will and the proposal to use the economic system, tweak it so we can achieve those goals that we all are discussing about achieving here today. Thank you.